SAP HANA Dynamic Tiering 2.0 introduces several new features. These include multi-store tables and data aging, and the ability to do same host deployments in production environments. It also includes incremental and differential backups, system replication, and extended storage encryption. Though the functionality of the last three features is not new to SAP HANA, it is new in the sense that it is now extended to dynamic tiering. Let's look at each one. The first new feature is multi-store tables and the ability to age data from hot to cold storage. A multi-store table is a single table whose data is organized into partitions. These partitions reside in both the default store, which is in memory, and the extended store, which is on disk. Queries on a multi-store table consider all partitions, regardless of store. Multi-store tables support the concept of aging data. For example, Table A contains invoice data. It has two partitions in default store and two in extended store. Within the default store, partition 1 contains all open invoices. As time progresses and the invoices are closed, you move the closed invoices to another partition within default store. They remain in memory for easy access, but eventually you no longer need them in memory. Moving the entire partition to extended store maintains easy access to the data, but frees up memory. Next, we'll look at same host deployments. Prior to 2.0, SAP HANA and Dynamic Tiering each required a dedicated host. But now you can run both on the same host, eliminating the need for a dedicated second host. Since HANA and Dynamic Tiering now share the memory on the host, you need to balance these resources to optimize performance. Several configuration parameters are available to assist with this. Now let's look at the incremental and differential backups feature. Prior to 2.0, Dynamic Tiering supported full backups, log backups, and point-in-time recovery, or PITR. Now it supports incremental backups, any changes since the last incremental backup, and differential backups, any changes since the last full backup. This reduces backup times and storage requirements. Dynamic Tiering now supports system replication to protect your production system against unexpected downtime due to disasters. It uses two-tier synchronous replication in the form of a primary and secondary or shadow system. The primary system sends redo log buffers to the secondary system where they are saved and replayed to build a shadow database. The secondary system is passive until the primary system becomes unavailable and you perform a takeover. At this point, the secondary system becomes a standalone server using the data from the redo log buffers. The final feature we'll look at is encrypting extended storage. Dynamic Tiering uses the same encryption root key as SAP HANA, though the HANA and Extended Stores each have their own database page encryption keys. This allows the encryption of your entire HANA database for improved security. If your HANA database is already encrypted, the Extended Store is automatically encrypted when you create it, but it is also possible to encrypt an existing Extended Store. Want to see more? Check out the Dynamic Tiering documentation on the SAP Help Portal. Thanks for watching.